Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Leo Sharashkin and we're in the Ozark Mountains of Southern Missouri. I am a natural beekeeper. I keep bees that I obtain here from the wilderness in the Ozark Mountains and put them in uh, beautifully decorated hives like this one. And a few years ago I had a SARE grant to create a collection of local bee strains that we have here in the Ozarks. Amazingly, most beekeepers in the United States, they use just a very small selection of honeybees. They're called Italian bees that are native to the uh, trop subtropical climate in Europe. And these bees are being propagated all over the country, even with climates that have very cold winters, like what we may have here in the Orzaks in southern Missouri. Uh, what I do instead, I set up small boxes called the bait hives in the trees in the spring. And just as birds move into bird houses, honeybees, when they swarm, they're looking for a new place to live and they move into these uh, bait hives. After that I collect them from trees and I put them into bigger hives so they can keep expanding and uh, produce honey for me as the beekeeper. It's very important to be working with local bees rather than buying bees that were raised in a different state farther south because again local bees would have better um, winter hardiness. Uh, so starting is very easy. You set up a box and the bees just come to the box on their own. And I keep repeating that uh, keeping bees can be simpler than growing tomatoes. Uh, with vegetable growing you need to plant the seed and take care of it and what and fertilize and they're protected from um, pests and from wildlife. With the bees all you need to do is to start with Winnie the Pooh called it the right sort of bees. In this case, the wilderness bees adapted to the local conditions and give them a good home. I have a website called horizontalhive.com that has a free swarm catching guide. So you can uh, read how easy it is to catch your own local swarms. And then free plans for building boxes like this one, where you just transfer the frames and the bees will keep expanding. And with the horizontal hive design, there is no heavy lifting involved. It's not like the conventional hive that you see m more conventionally, where you have a stack of boxes, each, each of each can be 50 pounds or more. So with this uh, natural beekeeping approach that I practice, there is much less stress on the bees because I don't have to open this box often. I work only with the local strains of bees so they stay healthier and stronger without chemicals or antibiotics. I never feed them sugar. I allow them to have the same kind of natural cycle as they would uh, uh, have uh, uh, living in a bee tree in the woods. And I have a book called Keeping Bees with a Smile and I can tell that for me it is as much about the smile as about the livelihood uh, or the honey and wax and other wonderful products that bees can produce. So I can tell you that I can make more from one acre of wilderness even in terms of economic return by working with local bees and uh, low maintenance beehives that you can build yourself uh, from some scrap lumber. I can get more economic value from an acre of wilderness land than I could if I were running cattle or growing crops here on the very um, dry and rocky soils of the southern Ozarks. Um, if you would like to learn more about the natural beekeeping approach and the importance of working with the local honeybees, I invite you to explore the information on the SARE grant project that I, I made and also look up my website horizontalhive.com that has much more free information on natural beekeeping. If you get encouraged to get started, uh, I very much would like to hear from your experiences and I wish you all the best keeping bees with a smile.